stupid. <coughs> What's up, guys? Your girl Michelle back again with another video. Whoa, 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 whoa. And today, 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 today. Today is about to be a story time. Story time. A story time. Whoa. Don't want nails. I'm gonna get it done tomorrow. Hopefully, but I don't know. I don't know. And my hair look crazy, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm just a crackhead tonight. Like, I don't even know why. I don't know why. But just know it's some hype energy in this thing. And we're going to get straight into the, the, the story time. So, college. So, parties. So, boys. So, girls. So, we just, just. Getting lit, getting lit like a titty, like a mu titty. Feel what I'm saying? Y'all feel what I'm saying? Not feel what I'm saying, like pick one, like I'm dead. But anyway, no, so my experience at my first college party, ooh, we, ooh, we. Now let's just say, I went to mad college parties when I was in high school, like a lot of college parties when I was in high school. But I don't, I'm not gonna talk about that one though because I wasn't really in college yet. So I'm gonna just talk about the first one I really, really, really ever went to being in college and like actually like not being there for like five minutes and then leaving type stuff. But yeah, so let's just say it was this semester obviously because last semester I was mad boring did not do anything literally stayed in my dorm room all the time I didn't go anywhere like I literally did not go anywhere I literally I can't even explain like I literally just invited people over to my dorm and then never left like everybody always came to me I never went to anybody like I don't even know what I was doing what I was thinking but anyway that's besides the point my first college party was with Amaya I'm IG. We had for, we had just moved in to our apartment and we were just like we should go to this party. We went to her doctor's appointment and um you know usually when we see parties and stuff like that like we like we're not gonna go. Like there's no point of going, like just gonna be mad throwing ass and stuff like that. And it was like there's no point of going because I mean I want to, but like I really don't want to, I really don't care for it. But we've seen a bunch of fine black men walking, you know, over to the party or whatever. And my friend had also sent it to me, which it was a pool party. And I was like, I don't want to go. But should I? <laughs> And I had asked her, like, do you want to go to this pool party? Like, it's literally the apartment right over from us. And she was like, I mean, yeah. No, at first she was like, I mean, really, do we have to? But then when we seen the guys, it was like, no, we got to go. Like, you feel what I'm saying, honey? Like, I was just flabbergasted. Boy, if you don't. I was like, what is going on here? And the fact that these people, like, these guys live in our complex like i was just like where have y'all been because maybe i'm inside too much because i've never seen you before anyway so you know we were with my brother whatever he dropped us off and you know we was like we don't get to this party and stuff like that so we went you know we started getting cute you know putting on our little swimsuits and stuff like that even though at this time it was like i think it was like six but this is when this is when daylight saving time was a thing. So like it didn't get dark later. It got dark earlier. So like by five o'clock it'll be dark. And it was like six or something like that. And I was like, even though it was dark, like let's just be cute and like put on a cute apple of kisses. So we was getting dressed and stuff like that. It was like, we're gonna go to some party, we're gonna do we're gonna turn up, we're gonna get the we're gonna get some numbers and some Snapchats, like you know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't looking like this. Like a bum. I wasn't looking like this. But like I said, don't mind me, y'all just don't mind me. I have to do my story time. I have to do my story time. So then, you know, we got just or whatever the case is. We just called my friend, you know, seeing she was still gonna go. So then we started walking over there because, like I said, it was the apartments right next to us. 
and we didn't know that they had a whole gate bro they had a whole door they had a whole gate that had a door in it we could just walk the door and walked into the pool went walked around and went into their pool and we over here hopping the fence bro we literally <laughs> so this is like okay mind you the fence okay there's a brick wall and then the fence on top of the brick wall you know what i mean like that bro that sh was so tall i just want to even know how we hopped it like she went first because she's taller than me obviously no, i'm always shorter than everybody in my life like i'm always the shortest and she went first and she went and she hopped the fence or whatever so that was my turn but my legs couldn't stretch as tall as her legs could have and I was just like, there's no way I'm making it. There's like literally no way I'm making it to this freaking fence. Like, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, so I finally like got the momentum to like push myself up like on top of the first fence and then push myself on top of the brick wall or like the cemented wall. And then I had to like gain strength to like push myself over the actual fence. It was so much to get over this fence. Like at this point, I was like, really, do I really even want to go to this party? Because I'm doing extra work to go to a party that I then not even playing music. It sounds like it's over. Like it doesn't even make any sense. So we finally get over the water cases. So we started, you know, we started walking towards the pool and stuff like that. We see people leaving. So we're like, okay, um, uh, what's going on? Like, where y'all going? Like, we just got here and we're ready to party. And where y'all going? And it was like, well, the cops came, so they shut it down, blase, blase, blase. So I was like, damn, like we done got dressed, we done decided to look cute, we done jumped fences and walls and stuff in order to get over there. And it's over, like, I'm telling y'all, the cops around here, like they really don't complain either. Like if they say shut it down, like shut it down. Like they're not gonna give you no benefit of the doubt at all. So then, um, yeah, so she was like, let's just go inside and just, you know, even though not everybody's gone and it's still, there was still a lot of people in there. So she was like, let's just go inside and like mingle, whatever, talk to people. I was like, I guess like, I don't, I'm really like, I've really not, I really haven't been that type of person that's social. Like, unless somebody walks up to me, like I'm not gonna walk up to you and I'm not gonna have a conversation with you, which is stupid because that's how you get to know people and get to make friends and stuff like that. But I was just wasn't that type of person. And I was like, I guess we can go in there and like, and we were still waiting for my other friend so it was like why not so we went in there we were sitting around and stuff like that and then my other friend came and she like high and drunk and all that sort of stuff so we was like maybe there's an after play no she said maybe there's an after play because i was thinking about i was not thinking about an after play i was thinking if this party's over this party's over like you know i've never been to parties around here so it's like i don't know like i didn't know that they do after plays and stuff like that so she's like, we're just gonna wait out for after play. We're gonna see what's gonna happen because the music was still being played a little bit, but it wasn't being played as much because you know everybody was leaving and then, you know everything's over. So we're sitting there and stuff like that. My friend, we're all three of us. We sitting there. We're just looking around, and this guy walks up to us, and he's like, or no, he said, "Are y'all waiting for um, the after play information?" And we're just like, "Yeah." Like I'm sitting there like I don't even know what what the hell we here for, but they were just like, "Yeah," like we're waiting for the after play information. What cases? So he was like, um. All right, I need y'all information. I'm gonna shoot it to y'all, blah, 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 blah. And he was like, are y'all from here or whatever, like from around here? Oh, do we go to school around here? We were like, yeah, we go to school around here. Like, they was like, okay, that's why, blah, blah, So like, we gave him our snapshot and stuff like that. And then he was like, what does that say on your arm? And I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, on your tattoo, what does that say on your arm? I was like, beauty is everywhere. And he was like, beauty's not everywhere, beauty's just right here. I said, no, every girl have their own beauty in their own way. Like, don't do that, like you cannot just down discriminate and downgrade girls like that like do better and he was like i'm not saying that they're ugly i'm just saying beauty is right here and i was like haha he he you know um funny and then you know he walked away or whatever and his friends was behind him but his friends was like mad like far away like why didn't they come up to you know it was like three to one like that's mad where it could have been three to three for the one saying but besides the point again i was doing something besides the point um so then, you know, he was texting me and stuff like that. And he was like, ask me questions, all these questions. And I was like, why is this man asking all these questions? Like, I just want to go to the party because we can't to the party. The party is over with and I'm mad because like, I just for no reason. So then he finally gave us the information to the after play. So we went home. He was getting dressed all over again because, you know, I mean, we could have went to the play in our swimsuits, but like, that's just like mad tacky to me. Like, it's a whole different setting. Why would I go over there? 
keep it on. I haven't seen it. Oh my god, yeah, my eyebrows is literally like it needs to be done. Like yes, it's my, it's my nails. But do y'all see this? Like it, this needs to be done. Yes. Anyway, we're getting dressed or whatever. You know, I put on my little cute outfit, like my little sneakers. You know, I'm trying to stunt, trying to be cute or whatever. Not thinking like, first of all, I I wasn't even thinking about the guy that gave us our his information like that. He was texting me and stuff like that because you know he was interested. Anyway. And I wasn't really thinking about getting cute for him. I was thinking like being cute. Like I was at like, my first party. Like we actually go to a party freshman year. Like I thought we was never going to go anywhere. We were just gonna stay in the house and be here, be bored, and be stupid and just dumb and, <laughs> and all that stuff. But anyway, yeah. So then we got to the we, we left or whatever the case is. And mind you, the party was like the last like four minutes away, three minutes away. Whatever. Mad close. So that's for you should have walked. No, <laughs> you can't walk. But it's just, my car is mad close. It, and mind you, these are. These are student apartments. Like they're like not like on my apartment, but they're like um, townhouses in a way. It's like bedrooms upstairs and everything else is downstairs. So it was like that. So like mad people in there, mad people going crazy. Like you know, party turned up, music playing. When we first no, actually when we first got there, there was really nobody there. There was a little bit of people, like the DJ and then a few people. Then it was us and we like sitting in the corner. And for some reason, when we go to parties, we're always in the corner. Don't ask me why, I don't know, but we're always in the corner. We always find the corner, and that'd be our corner, and we be dancing in there. But yeah, we was in the corner, whatever cases. And then you know, people started coming in, and party started getting lit. We was getting lit like a freaking titty, like. I mean, I was having fun. Like, it wasn't like live. Like at the beginning, it really wasn't live. But after everybody started coming in, and like it was like no space in the party, and like the music was being played, and like we didn't know anybody. Like we literally did not know anybody. So like everybody was used to each other being at certain parties with each other, stuff like that. And you know these boys, and they was like dancing in the circle and stuff like that. I was like hyping them up, like hey, hey, hey. <laughs> We get tired, though. We get tired, though. We get tired. They doing a dick. Now, mind you, now mind you, now when they be at parties and stuff, so like we be in the middle because we know them and stuff like that. And they always want me and Amaja to be in the middle, dance and do. It's time for the twerk later. It's time for the twerk later. We're always dancing. Like, we're like the girl version of them, just more girlier than they are because they be doing that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. Hit them folks, y'all. Yeah. Like, Y'all probably the same, like, yeah, so they was dancing in the middle, stuff like that. It was hype, I was getting them hype. Like, you know, while with my phone, I was like, ah, ah, you know, like, ah, get lady, get hype, get with them. <laughs> and stuff like that, yeah, so that was happening. It was fun, like, I can't even keep saying it was fun because it was fun. But then, um, for the guy that gave us his information, what he said, so Maja was thirsty, she was like, bro, I'm hot. I was like, me too, I'm hot, like, I need some water, like, whatever. So I texted him, I was like, hey, you think you can get us some water, stuff like that? And he was like, yeah, I'm like, I got y'all, blah, blah, blah. Even though he took mad long, he took like 20 minutes to give us water bottle, like, water bottle too, whatever the case is. But I mean, I know it was his party, so like, he was like, kind of busy like trying to focus on everybody like get everybody in like get everybody turned up stuff like that like make sure the dj is good stuff like that whatever he was doing but he's like long to give us some water so then they had some like wine going around and i was like oh i want to taste it and he bought finally bought the water bottle finally bought the wine too because i said i wanted some of the wine but still bring my water bottle with Anyway, so yeah, so he bought the wine bottles. I tasted the wine. I was like, oh, I'm gonna just take a little, uh, sip with my mouth a little bit. Cause like the wine bottle was open, it was going around anyway. And I'm like thinking in my head, like somebody could like do something to it. Like what if they put some crazy, like, I don't even know, alcohol or something, drug in there. That's gonna have me tweaking. Like, I was like, bro, if I drinking, just know my mama love you. Like, I don't want to stay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. I don't know, but yeah, so I just drank some of that or whatever. And I finally got my water bottle. So he was sitting there, he was drinking on it. He was, he was like, yeah, hi, you know, being lit or whatever. You know, twerk songs come on. Throw that, throw that, throw that, throw that, hold up, throw that, throw that, fucking, like, it was just lit. Like, it was just like, wow, like, I'm really at a college party right now. Why does I mean in college? Not college party, I'm in high school. Like, college party, I'm in college, you know. So it was hype or whatever. And after a while, I started feeling like a little uh, woozy. And I was like, I'm a little woozy. I'm a little woozy. I don't know what to do for a little woozy. And then um, she, uh, I was telling Marjorie, I was like, oh my God, like, I need to go to the restroom or something. But she was already asking for the restroom, but I was like, I need to go to the restroom. Like, I feel like I'm going to pass out. And then, then like, mind you, there's mad people in there, like, small area. Like, I'm in the corner. We're all in the corner, like, pressed against the corner. So I was like, damn, I need some stuff. So whatever. So I texted him. I said, you got a restroom, what the case is. And he was like, where you at? And I was at the same place you found us the first time. 
I didn't know if he was drunk or anything. I wasn't even thinking of the fact that he could be like intoxicated or whatever. But I was like, oh wait, you just gave us some water like five minutes ago, maybe 10 minutes ago. And you don't remember where we are? Like, don't make sense. Uh, anyway, so then um, he finally came and like, you know, he guided us upstairs to his bathroom because, you know, it's his party. And we was walking in to go pee, like all three of us, we just going to bathroom together. And he pulls me and I said, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, what the hell is going on? And he was like, uh, sit down here and talk to me. And I was like, bro, I gotta pee. Like, bro, I need to go inside. Like, hello. So my, so my and my other friend, they went about the whatever. So I'm like over there talking to him. He's saying whatever he has to say. By the way, Balazi said he looked good. I said, probably I don't know. Like, what are you talking about? I ain't know I look good. Not right now. Not right now. I look good. I look alright. Like, well, put together. But I was like, what I was like, I don't look good anyway. So then, <laughs> so then, um, he's like talking whatever. I was saying, he's saying what he's saying. I was just talking back, and I was like, okay. And then they finally came out, and she was like, "Y'all go to the restroom." I was like, "I want to pee," but he's not allowing me to. So he finally went out here. He was like, "Y'all can stay up here as long as y'all want to." Whatever the case is, I was like, "Okay." So then, um, you know, we been whatever. So we going up. We finish using the bathroom stuff like that, and we finally go back downstairs. But then, like as we're going downstairs, like we just hear people saying, "Like the party's over. Like get out, get the fuck out, whatever the case is." So we went back upstairs. I was like, "I'm not about to get out." Like, <laughs> I mean, I was gonna leave, but at the same time, I was like, "There's there was people upstairs that we met." Because mind you, as we're using the restroom, these guys, these other guys, which was the guy that gave us his information, his friends, like, they were there too. So they came upstairs, and they were, like, talking to us and stuff like that. We were, like, chatting in the back with them and having conversations. And then, oh, no, 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 I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I'm, I'm missing a whole part, okay? So it was a point in time we was upstairs, before we, before we went right downstairs, before the party was officially over. Um, Cause there was a bunch of girls that came upstairs and stuff like that. So we was all talking and stuff. And we was all getting to know each other. And then they said the cops was there. So me, I grabbed Amaja so fast and I said, "Come in the closet." And I pulled her into his closet. I was like, well, "We're not gonna get caught." Like I didn't drink. Like I drink a little bit, but like I don't know how the cops around here like are. So I was like, "No, we're not gonna get caught." So I was like, "I'll pull her in the uh, in the um, closet or whatever." And I was like, "We're hiding in here." And I texted the boy and I was like, um, "We're hiding in your closet because we're not getting caught by the cops." That was so funny because it's the way I was doing it. Like, and it was mad stuff in this car. Like, I was just like, I'm not getting caught. I'm not going to jail today. Like, I do not know what they're going to do, what they're going to say. And I'm not going to be a part of it. Like, I was like, no. So he finally comes upstairs and he was like, Are y'all dead hiding in my closet? And I'm like, Yes, because we're not about to get caught, bro. Like, you can go to jail by yourself, but I'm not going to jail with you. And he was like, The cops are gone away because so we came out. And that's when we started talking to his friends. So like that they was asking a mad, mad question. And that's us like, what school we go to like that? They ain't never seen us before. And mind you, they, they don't even go to school out here. Like they go to school in a whole different city in Texas. Like mad far away, mad like dumb far, whatever. And I was like, okay, whatever. So then um, we were talking to them for a mad long. We were talking to them for a fat minute, like a good hour and a half, maybe two. And then they were talking about having a game night. And that's when we finally got downstairs to like go back to the party, but then the party was over, so we came back upstairs. And they were talking about having a game night and stuff like that. And they was like, y'all should stay for the game night and all that stuff like that. And we were like, well, at first, I really wanted to go home. I was like, I really just want to go home. I'm hungry, like I'm tired, like I'm ready to go home, you know? And then Maja was like, let's just stay, let's just see what's about, whatever he says. And I was like, okay, okay, I was like, okay, whatever, fine, let's just stay. So, you know, after that, like, after they, after they talk about the game night, we still was talking for, like, a good hour after that. And I'm not going to lie to you, it was a good conversation. It was a good conversation, it was good, like, meeting new people, stuff like that. It was, like, different for me, and uh, I was, like, trying to be um, social, because I'm really antisocial, and I really don't like talking to nobody. And I was, okay, whatever, so I was talking to them. And then, um, finally, this game night, this so-called game night started to, you know, be something. And went downstairs, and it was just, like, me, Amaja, the guy that gave us our give us his information and his friend and his other friend and we were like this is the game night <laughs> and i was like bro i'm scared because i was like scared i was like damn like it was what it was like three guys to two girls like what's about to happen like, you know what i mean and i was like okay whatever so we started playing uno and stuff like that and i was like you know i might just get annoyed because some because the person one of the people i was there she's getting annoyed by him so it was like whatever and she wants to start Eh, can I talk? Okay, so she wanted to go home, and I was like, okay, yeah, we could just like start heading home over. So let's call our Uber because, you know, like I said, we don't have a car yet. And then um, he had shot me a text message, and was just like, um, I'm trying to cuddle. I said, okay, that's my problem. 
I was like, um, okay, what does that mean? So they're like, you trying to stay over there. I was like, I'm not staying here. Like, you come to my house, but I'm not staying here. And it's kind of was like, I kind of didn't re realize, like, or recognize, like, how I said it, like, you come to my house, I'm going to stay here. But I wasn't doing that then. Like, I'm not the type of female. I'm not going to do that. Like, you know, just met you. No. Like, and then it was like, at the same time, I wasn't really, like, attracted to this person, like, at all. Like, I was like, why are you trying to talk to me? Why do you think it's okay to talk to me? But yeah, that had happened, and I was like, he come over, whatever. So we had finally left the party at like four o'clock in the morning. Like at this point, the party was been over. The party's over since two o'clock. So we stayed a whole extra two hours for whatever the reason was, because we're trying to have fun and do college and blah blah and get to know people. Like no, no, never again. Why do you hear what I'm saying? Never again. No, we're not doing it. <laughs> not the same. But like yeah, so we was doing all that. We was doing all of that. And we finally left four o'clock in the morning and boom, that was the end of the party. Like that was very adventurous though, because honestly, who would thought you would go to a pool party to a regular party to then staying for game night? All this other stuff, like it was just crazy and fun and like definitely one for the books. Like I'm not gonna lie, like it was definitely one for it was definitely a good experience for like your first party in like college and stuff like that. I wouldn't say I don't regret anything that happened that day and I wouldn't regret things that happened. People have met that day, whatever the case is. But yeah. Anyway, that was the store time first party like wow. And after that, I'm gonna let y'all. After that, we was partiers. Like we li we literally went to every party, any party, every party that we seen on like our like we have a little thing that we like this, this person that we follow that like gives all of us parties around like the area that we are in. And it was like we went to all the parties, we've been going to all the parties, we still go to all the parties, like wow. We just became partners after that. I don't understand why. I don't understand how, but we did. And yeah. <laughs> so I hope I enjoyed my story time. I hope it wasn't boring. I really hope it wasn't boring, but to me it was boring. Like it like if you it's more better when you experience it when you tell the story. Like it's just different. Like the experience is just way different than just the story. But I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. I'm awake. Because every time I say subscribe, I feel like y'all be subscribing to your girl. Like, I'm away. Subscribe. Is that done? I'm saying nothing that. Y'all done? Y'all done? Y'all finally done? Y'all subscribe to me? That's right. Okay. So, subscribe to your girl. Comment down below. Like, literally comment down below. I really want to know what y'all want to see. Like, what y'all want to see your girl do. Like, anything in the book, I will do. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to rob a bank because I'm not going to do that. So, no, ma'am. No, Sam. No, take it on him. But... Let me know what y'all want to see. Let me know the content that y'all want to see. Like, I want to put out more college content. Like I said, I'm definitely going to start vlogging. Because there's different. There's definitely a lot of events and things I have coming up this summer. And I don't want to, like, I don't want to just put it to waste and live in the moment. Because I'm always living in the mo living in the moment. I can just pick up the camera and vlog. And show y'all what I be doing. Like, how much fun I be having sometimes. Like, sometimes my life is not always boring. I don't always sit in this room and be bored. Anyway, but yeah. And don't forget to hit that bell. Hit the bell. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit the bell. 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 Like, hit the bell. Because if you don't hit the bell, how would you know if I post another video? You gotta know when I post another video. So hit the bell. And I'm going to see y'all later. Do.